I thought this is the best time to leave. I died, I left my body behind, went to the greatest place I've ever been. It was August 2nd. I was traveling westbound, going 60 miles an hour on my motorbike, when um, an uninsured drunk motorist crossed over the road and ran into me head on. My legs were crushed. I almost followed my bike under the car. Somehow I pulled loose, it was awful. When the ambulance came, I knew I was gonna die, but I was ready. I woke up in the hospital. Nurses were sticking tubes down my throat, sticking me with needles, probing and poking, and then well, I checked out, plain and simple. I flew through the walls, through the ceiling. There was a light, kind of a, a tunnel to follow, but the whole ride was on autopilot. Now here's where things get real interesting. The gates of heaven. I found myself looking in, but I could not get in. The sights were out of this world. Endless amount of bright colors. The sounds greater than anything we know musically. Just greater than words can explain. So here I was, banging on these golden gates, when a graceful, faceless, spiritual being, taller than myself, tells me I'm not ready. <laughs> I argued. I even explained, what can I do with a twisted body? It seemed like forever as I floated above the hospital. I knew I was heading back to my body, but I defied entering it. As I closed in, I could see the support team of people running back and forth. I hovered a little while, and then bang, I was back. Then I was given a, a big push 